For more than 50 years, Mid-Georgia Soaring Association has been promoting soaring throughout the state of Georgia. The club evolved from a small group of glider pilots who began flying sailplanes out of Macon's Cochran Field, which is today's Macon Municipal Airport. Gliding activity started there as early as 1952, but it wasn't until the mid-50s that activity took off when Air Force test pilot and enthusiastic glider pilot Captain Linford Bactell was assigned to nearby Warner Robins Air Force Base. Lynn Bechtel had brought with him his Schweitzer 123 single seat glider and he made it available to others to fly after some initial ground instruction. Lynn, who was an instructor, teamed up with another instructor in the area, Van Thaxton. Van was an aircraft avionics mechanic and president of the Warner Robins Aero Club. Together they created MGSA. The club was soon chartered as a chapter of the Soaring Society of America. In 1957, as interest grew in soaring, the young club purchased a two-place World War II training glider, an LK-10A. The seven club members at the time pulled together $1,500 for the purchase of the club's first glider. Toes were provided by the Aero Club members in a Piper Super Cub. In November of 1959, Mid-Georgia Soaring Association was officially incorporated under the laws of the state of Georgia. Club meetings were held every month at the 20th Century Cafe in downtown Warner Robins. Other active members in the late 50s were Ken Grubbs of Monroe, Bill Brown of Athens, Howard Kelly, Willis Webb, Wright McKnight, Matt Connor, and Charlie Sparks, all of whom drove down every weekend from Atlanta or the Monroe Athens area to participate. By 1960, MGSA had approximately 20 members and was operating three sailplanes, the LK-10 for a trainer and the 123 and newly built Schweitzer 126, both owned by Lynn Bechtel. Even in the early years, interest in cross-country and competition soaring was strong, with Lynn Bechtel, Van Thaxton, and various other members competing in the various contests of the era. These involved endurance, altitude gain, and cross-country distance. In 1960, Captain Lynn Bechtel was transferred to Dobbins Air Force Base in Marietta, Georgia, and he took with him his 123 and his 126. Since most of the club members were from the Atlanta area, the MGSA operation was moved to Atlanta, and a joint association was formed with the local North Georgia Soaring Association, also known as No Gas. Operations for the two glider clubs was based at the Park Air Field in East Cobb County, where present-day Park Air Mall is located. Key no-gas members in this time period were Ed Barnes, John Karlovic, and Joe Davis. In 1960, Ken Grubbs was elected MGSA president, a position he held for six years. After a period of joint operations with no gas at Park Air Field, the two clubs officially merged in July 1962 with MGSA being the surviving club. Operations continued from Park Air Field using the LK-10 and other private ships. Ken Grubbs and other glider pilots living in Monroe requested and received permission from the city of Monroe to convert the city dump to an airstrip for general aviation operations. This was the origin of the current Monroe Airport. After completion of the strip, Ken was made the first airport commissioner. As suburban development was beginning to encroach upon Park Air Field, Monroe showed more promise for the long-term future of the club. By 1963, MGSA had finally relocated to Monroe Airport and has been there ever since. Following the move to Monroe in 1963, MGSA had grown to the point it was able to afford its first tow plane, a Stinson L5 nicknamed Tugboat Annie. In 1963, MGSA was the only glider club in Georgia and owned the LK-10 and a Schweitzer 222. The new Lockheed Glurk Soaring Club, sponsored by Lockheed of Georgia, also recognized Monroe as a great soaring site and relocated there in the mid-60s 